God bless you. I wanted to share with you uh, a post that I'm going to call Undercover Friends. Uh, you know, it's inspired by a social media post of mine. Uh, I wrote, uh, some people will only acknowledge you when it's convenient for them. After a while, you will know who they are. Are you okay with relationships like this? Who's got time for undercover friends? Who's got time for friends who can only come by night? Life is a tough enough walk for any of us to decide to walk it out with half-hearted folks. Hmm. Friends that can't acknowledge you in the open light of day are friends that aren't good for you. If they can only be seen with you at such and such time or thus and so place, then don't you dare waste your life aligning yourself with them. Never allow anyone to treat you like you're an undercover operative. All of us have had the experience of having friends and we live in such a hustle bustle networking connecting world now where you know people are always looking for connections or to network uh, and connect with people who can take them to the next level. And you got to make yourself, you got to, you got to uh, compose yourself enough to not m allow anyone to use you as fodder or a stepping stone to get to who that they want to. I, I've had to play, uh, you know, I, I've been used as a friend. You know, I have friends that treat me as if I'm a undercover friend. They're my friend via phone call at night. They're my friend via uh, bringing their problems to me and aligning themselves and letting me speak wisdom into their life. They're my friend via text. They're my friend via email or I'm letting me pour into them. But when they get around the right set of folks that may not like me or the right set of folks that may not like how I'm a tad bit out of the box, they kind of shun themselves from me. And folks, Life's too short to align yourself with undercover friends. Friend, while Nicodemus was Jesus' secret disciple, you know, secret disciple, because it was advantageous for Nic because of Nicodemus's position, uh, it, they had to use subtlety. And, 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 it, and his subtlety may have saved his own life and maybe even saved the life of the Savior at a particular point by subtlety, but most of us are not advantageous or strategic as that. You don't need to be an undercover operative that I can talk to you by day and then shun you in the public light. Uh, look, folks, we don't need any undercover friends. You don't need to be somebody's 007. You don't need to be somebody's born conspiracy that if you, I can speak to you, but you're code X. We can't acknowledge each other in public. I remember how painful that must have been for, you know, I tell any woman in life that if you get a phone call from a man seeking you to come over to pick you up or whatever, and that phone first phone call is past 10 a.m., it's usually because the brother struck out somewhere else earlier in the night. As my grandmother used to say, if you get a call past respect hour, because some phone calls are past the hour of respect, asking you to come over or meet with them or do whatever, then that means you're usually not his first choice, you're usually his second choice, and that's where the term we got, uh, you know, uh, in the old days it was called when you had the plunder from a war, they called it, and now we call it calls. And, and, and folks, you know, you got to love yourself enough that I'm not going to be somebody's secret uh, friend. I'm not going to be somebody's undercover operative where you can be my friend by night and then you don't have to acknowledge me by day. Look, folks, you're nobody's. You don't have to let, allow, never allow anyone to treat you like an undercover operative. It's my thinking and my resolve that it's better to walk somewhere alone to take the trip alone than to walk it out with half-hearted folks. All of us have had the experiences of the social media friends who like our every post and, and 
put their comments and everything else, and then they meet you in the light of day and walk right past you and don't speak to you. Not that social media is real life, not that social media means that much to one's life, but it's so many people that that they're scared to acknowledge that my position in this group might be affected by them knowing that I'm listening to someone from some other group. We have so many camps, and, and, and in this difficult day as we're living in right now, now, who has time for the camps? It's too late in the day for the church to be divided in the camps. If we're talking about the African American community, our, our communities are like have, have suffered blitzkriegs. It's it's a war. It's a war zone. Who's got time for camps? Look, folks, you don't have time. Life is much too short to spend it with undercover friends. I, you know, I'm not okay with relationships that you can only speak to me at night or speak to me in the far distance or in our private phone calls, and you can't acknowledge me in the light of day. Never allow folks to treat you like you're somebody's throwaway. It's a self-esteem call that it's better to walk alone than to walk with someone that's your undercover friend. Who's If you got a friend that can't acknowledge you in the light of day when all are looking, they can't be seen on any Facebook photo with you or any other photo with you. You, got, you don't have time for that. You got to love yourself enough to, to esteem yourself enough to not allow yourself to give in to undercover friends. If they can only be seen with you at thus and so place and they can only talk you to you at thus and so time and thus and so or 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 or. or, or that's a so, uh, you know, sh uh, shadowy spot. You don't need that. Life is too short. Don't you dare waste your life aligning yourself with people that aren't 100% in your corner. The scriptures bear out that a friend loveth at all times and a brother is born for adversity. A brother is born for tough times and a friend loves at all times. Who's got time for undercover friends? I, you know, I don't have time to be anybody's 007, double not agent. I need friends that are 100% in my corner. And if you're not, I can walk this thing out alone. Who's got time? For undercover friends. Now, now you know, you don't have time for that many secret disciples. It didn't say it gave knowledge of, of Nicodemus. The scriptures did. And, and I'm sure God had others of that particular foe. But in your walk, in your alignment and your walk towards purpose, destiny, and success, you don't have time for a lot of secret disciples and undercover friends. Good morning meditation. God bless you.